The battle between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and President Biden is at a boiling point, with the words civil war now even being thrown around in the media. Civil war. Whatever you think about exactly what should or shouldn't be done at the border, whatever you think the Texas governor can do or ought to do, we should all expect and demand that states and political leaders follow the law. And that means following court's orders. And we should hold the politicized media accountable when they try to escalate this with mischaracterizations and absurd hyperbole. Now, the conflict in the courts is very real. And yes, there are armed troops and armed agents involved where the Texas National Guard has seized control of a park in Eagle Pass and federal border agents denied access. Last week, we actually had an editorial ready to go about how the left-leaning media was adding fuel to an already raging fire by claiming that Governor Abbott was defying a Supreme Court ruling, which just wasn't true. And here are just a few of the many examples. Texas, though, defying the courts. Now we go to the southern border where the governor of Texas refuses to give in to federal law. You're, you're allegedly the party of laws and order, and you're essentially telling local authorities to break the law. Now, the Supreme Court overturned a lower court ruling that had stopped the federal government from cutting wire erected by the state, which means Border Patrol could continue to remove barriers preventing access to the border. That's it. The court didn't offer any reasoning, didn't prohibit Texas or Governor Abbott from anything. The court just didn't let stand a lower court ruling that stopped the feds from cutting the wire. It's tough to defy a decision that doesn't prevent you from doing anything. So overstating what the Supreme Court did last week is condemnable. But now, and I said that last week we were talking about this, because now we brought it back, because some on the far right have sort of justified those mischaracterizations. Listen to Oklahoma Republican Governor Kevin Stitt on CNN talking about, yes, defying the Supreme Court. We all agree that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And if the Supreme Court gets something wrong, uh, for example, if they tried to ban and say that we didn't have a, a Second Amendment right to, to, to bear arms, uh, I think the Constitution supersedes somebody in Washington, D.C. telling us, you know. Um, and so I think Governor Abbott did a really good job of laying out uh, and declared an invasion uh, based on Article One of the Constitution. Uh, the states have a right to defend themselves. That is the governor of Oklahoma literally saying that he thinks it's okay to ignore a Supreme Court ruling if you think it's wrong. Put aside what the court didn't rule here, because Governor Stitt is saying you can ignore them anyway. That is insane. And by the way, it's making the left-leaning media's point for them, even if it's not for the exact right reason. And by the way, Governor Stitt's not alone. In an interview on CNN Sunday, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem also entertained the idea of Texas literally thumbing its nose at the Supreme Court. Do you think Texas should do that? Should they defy the Supreme Court? Texas should stand their ground. Uh, they should enforce their state law and go back to the constitutional rights that they've been granted to protect their state sovereignty. And that's what so many of us as governors are offended by, is that Democrats were threatening to encourage the president to uh, activate our guards in order to get them to stand down and not protect our state. So it is a dangerous situation. It is a war zone at our southern border. Again, putting aside what you think ought to happen, they are acting like these radical constitutional sheriffs who pick and choose which laws they like and which they don't. Governors Noem and Stitt, along with nearly two dozen other Republican governors, signed a letter supporting Abbott's stand against President Biden and some of them, including Ron DeSantis, have sent their own guard troops to Texas. So both Democrats and Republicans in Congress have escalated the rhetoric to extremes in public statements, while the border bill remains a political football. But if all that wasn't already enough, here is a member of the far right wing media taking this even further. I mean, what is this going to turn into a civil war? I mean, you've got the Texas rights versus federal rights, both sides with guns. And we believe constitutionally we are right. We have a right to defend our citizens. They're turning this into civil war stuff. That's crazy. But 
It's not just the right-leaning media talking civil war either. There is some big civil war energy coming out of Texas as Greg Abbott taunts the federal government with his actions on the border. The dangers are extraordinary. I'm essentially, the language used by the state of Texas echoes the language used by the southern states when they seceded from the Union in 1861. We're going to ignore federal authority. And that's the beginning of the end of the Union as we see it. So, again, the facts matter. Civil War. Now, all the while, Shelby Park is still under control of the Texas National Guard. It's still true, after all of this, that the Supreme Court didn't make a ruling on the underlying question of the authority at the border. So let's allow the lawsuits to work their way through the courts. And there are several of them. And eventually, some of this will all be resolved by the Supreme Court. And yes, it's a very serious situation, with major questions about the law and the Constitution at hand. But the media getting details wrong, especially like big things, like saying the governor is defying a Supreme Court ruling and we're on the verge of civil war, it doesn't help anyone or anything. This stuff is too important to let the extremes dictate this conversation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.